Welcome back to Build Builds. Today we're going to be making a walnut serving tray with some aluminum handles. Today's project is fairly simple. Basically, we're going to use these walnut scraps from the beer glass holder video, which I will put a link up for you in the probably over here or over here. I don't remember exactly which side YouTube puts it on. Anyway, um, we're going to we're going to keep it these lengths. I might have to just cut the ends off to make them perfectly flush, which is fine. But I think I'm just going to cut them both to this width and then join them at the jointer. And then for the handle, which you'll see, I cut out these pieces for demonstration purposes. Basically, here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put them like this, right? And then we're gonna take this, the aluminum rod. They're gonna go about halfway through. If you've seen the, if you've seen the other video with about the beer glass holes, you'll see where I use these, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut a hole halfway through each. And this is how the handle's gonna be. And I think we're gonna do that for both sides. I think that's gonna look, oh, you can't really see it. Here. I think that's gonna look, uh, I think it's gonna look really good. Once these are both even, then it'll look good. Let's uh, rip this down to the table saw. All right, the boards are jointed. I've marked which sides go where, and <laughs> it looks good, I'll tell you. These joints are good. This is sand out. This will clamp nicely together. So once I glue it up, we'll cut off one end on the table saw, and uh, it'll be nice and clean. We'll actually cut off both. That way, we know for a fact they're flush.
All right, so now while this is drying, I think we can try to figure out the handle. So here's the aluminum rod. Short distances will be nice and strong, so that's good. Um, oh, my water bottle over here. So I think... Yeah, let me get the tape. I don't know if I want to sit down for this, but... Anyway, so the whole thing, width-wise, is of course I made it really easy for myself. I did. I made it 9 and 3 eighths. Actually, 9 and more, a little bit more than 3 eighths, so that's always fun. Anyway, so what you could do is just go in... I like the idea of going in 2 inches on both sides. So, if we go in 2 inches here, right, we put a mark at 2 inches. Okay. And 2 inches here. Okay, and we can extend that mark to the other side uh, later, but we do this. This is just a mock-up. These are the older, these are the test pieces I, I cut out. So if we do that, and then we put the, let's put the rod in. It's not going to extend past the edges, obviously, but I want to say... I kind of like that, actually. Two inches in, we cut it. Or do I want to go... My hand... Do we want to go in a little bit? Do we want to go... I think we want to do that, actually. In a little bit... Now I don't know. <laughs> I think my gut was right. And I think two inches is good. Because if we did, let's go in a, if we did a half inch, we'd be about halfway through this board. That one. But if we centered these on the center of the board, see that's too small if we centered them. At least that's my opinion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because this is too much space. I think we want it to be like part... Not cutting board, obviously, but like, you want the tray to be able to, you want it to be big enough for your hand to comfortably without having to hit these edges. And I think, I think that's what we do. Yep. All right, we go two inches in, both sides. We'll mark that up. Ah, one more thing you have to figure out is the height of these. And I think what I did here is actually perfect. Uh, this was a test, and I think these are. Yeah, these are two inches tall, and I think that's what we do. I think two inches high is perfect.
All right, so I took it out of the clamps. It looks, <laughs> it looks really good. I put a chamfer on the bottom to make it look like it's floating when it's on the table. I think that effect looks really cool. Uh, now that the handles are glued in, I let them dry overnight. Uh, I'm going to put in screws from the bottom here and here, and then that way the handle is nice and secure, and if the glue does give way, at least we have the screws. So let's go do that. Well, there you have it. There's the serving tray. It came out really well, and I'm happy I used walnut for it. The color is beautiful. It matches the beer glass holder from the other video. I'll put a link down below. You can take a look at that. Uh, I'm happy with the way the handles came out. It's nice and sturdy. I put the screws in at the bottom. That'll really strengthen these up. Uh, if there's anything heavy on here, I doubt it, but uh, it, it, it'll be very useful, I'll tell you. Um, the way the aluminum accents the walnut is just is just beautiful and I'm really enjoying the way it looks. I'm very happy I put the chamfer down at the bottom. I'll give you a close-up of that. It looks like it's floating. It's awesome. And I, I just love the way it came out. The surface finish is beautiful. I finished it with Danish oil. Uh, it's, that's what I did with the other one and it just came out so nice. It's got a nice sheen. It's it's just it's just a beautiful one. I love it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any comments or anything like that or what I could have done differently, let me know down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. Uh, I really appreciate you watching, and this has been Bill Builds.